You know, I believe the glory of God is about to cover the earth and the knowledge of the glory of God will cover the earth as the waters cover the sea. That's what Habakkuk prophesied. So I'm looking for a last day revival, but not just any kind of revival. I'm looking for a revival of glory where God's glory comes down and shakes the earth. You know, I, I kind of see two things going on right now. I see the world shaking and the kingdom rising. That's what Hebrews chapter 12 says when it says that everything that can be shaken will be shaken so that those things that cannot be shaken will remain. And the next verse says, I believe it's verse 27 or 28 of Hebrews 12 says, and we're of a kingdom that cannot be shaken. So he's talking about the kingdom lasting, outlasting the shaking going on the earth. Well, I think part of that kingdom rising in this last day revival is going to be the glory of God is going to be seen. I think that we're going to see tangible glory, not the kabod, which is the glory we feel, but the Shekinah, which is the glory that we see. So I write a little bit about that in my book, Bows and Arrows, in the very last chapter. And so I want to just tell you one little part of that scenario. There's a lot to it. So there's, there's a lot of information in here on on the kabod and the glory, the anoint, the difference in the anointing and the glory. And so I just want to go to one little part of this that I think is very significant. So a lot of stories in the Bible, even though they're interesting stories, are also prophetic in nature. There, there are types and shadows of things to come. For instance, let's take Noah's Ark. So Noah's Ark is a type and shadow of salvation. You have the door that is open. That's how Jesus, that's how we go in. And so you have three compartments, the lower compartment, the foundation, the middle compartment with the door, the upper compartment, which is a, a room of the window. And that's symbolic of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Father, the foundation, Jesus is the door, the only way to, to safety. Holy Spirit is where the doves came out, so uh, which is the, the upper layer. So there's a lot more to that Noah's Ark story, but here is one of the things that I think is fascinating about that. So Noah has three doves that fly. The first dove flies, and, and well, it's the same dove, but the, the dove flies, and he comes back, and there's no place for him to land. That is prophesying how the Holy Spirit will work in the Old Testament. So the Holy Spirit will light upon people and come up, but he cannot indwell anyone because there's no place for him to land. Well, then he sends out the second flight of the dove, and the dove comes back the second time. This time he brings an olive branch. He's, he's, gone, he's waited seven days before he did this. This time he brings an olive branch. So the olive branch is, is the symbol of Israel. So this story is telling us that the Holy Spirit will find a place to light in Israel. And that's exactly what happened. Acts chapter 2, on the day of Pentecost in Jerusalem, there in an upper room, the Holy Spirit fell, which is in, Jer which is in Israel, and the Holy Spirit found a place to land. Now we are indwelt by the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit in the New Testament era works through the church by indwelling believers. But then there's one more flight of the dove, and we're waiting on that one. So I think this is the glory revival that we're about to see. So the final flight of the dove, the dove flies away and does not come back to the ark, but the door of the ark opens and a rainbow appears and there's a whole new day. So I think that we're getting ready to see what I call the final flight of the dove, where we're gonna see the Holy Spirit moving in the earth in a way we've never seen the Holy Spirit move before. It's gonna look different from the Old Testament when the Holy Spirit would light and leave. It's gonna look different from the New Testament when the Holy Spirit would indwell believers. I think the final flight of the dove is gonna be supernatural, and we're gonna actually see the the physical form of God, the visible form of God in what I believe will be Shekinah glory. So I hope that you're ready for this because the glory is coming, revival is coming, and I believe we're gonna see the final flight of the dove.